NixOS is a general-purpose Linux distribution capable of doing anything from serving your simple web app to being a fully-fledged desktop OS, which is why it always seems strange to me when people ask about whether or not you should or even can game on NixOS at all. And so answering the question from the clickbaity thumbnail, NixOS is not the best gaming distro, because there probably isn't one. However, if you, like me, want it to be a great gaming distro, then this video is definitely for you because today I will showcase several different programs and options you can set for comfortable gaming experience on NixOS. And the first thing we want to do is enable OpenGL and the correct GPU drivers. Enabling OpenGL is simply a matter of adding these several lines to your configuration, and as always, you can find all the code blocks from this video in the link in the description. This step can be omitted entirely if you are going to enable Steam, but having it in your configuration won't hurt anyway. Now loading the GPU drivers on NixOS is done by adding them to the services.xserver.video drivers list, which contrary to the option name, will enable them for both X and Wayland. If you are using Nvidia, you might also want to enable mode setting for some Wayland compositors and desktop environments to work properly, but if you are not experiencing any issues, this step can be skipped too. These are pretty much all the options you need to set on a regular desktop PC, However, if you are using a hybrid graphics laptop with an NVIDIA GPU, which I know many of you do, you might want to configure NVIDIA Optimus Prime. This step is kinda lengthy, so if it's not about you, feel free to skip to the timecode you see on the screen. Prime has two different modes, called Offload and Sync. In the Offload mode, the dedicated GPU is only enabled when needed, optimizing power consumption. And the Sync mode, on the other hand, keeps your dedicated GPU running at all times, improving game performance. For both of these to work, you will need to determine the bus IDs of your GPUs, and there are several ways to do it. I personally prefer to use the LSPCI utility from the PCI Utils package, which you can run on any Nix machine with the command you see on the screen. It will output both values we need, and judging by their names, we can determine that in this example, I have an NVIDIA dedicated GPU with an ID 100, and an AMD built-in with an ID 600. We can now go back to our NixOS configuration and add these values here. Make sure to select the correct option for your iGPU vendor, whether it is AMD or Intel, and format the IDs like in this example. If you choose to select the offload mode, the enable offload CMD option included in this example will provide us with a convenient wrapper shell script that will tell your NVIDIA GPU to take over any command given to it meaning all you have to do is prefix your game executables with this command for them to run on the DGPU. The general rule of thumb here is to choose offload if you are traveling a lot with your laptop and sync if you always have access to the power grid. However, if you still want to have both, NixOS specializations allow us to define system variations that will only slightly differ from the original configuration, meaning we can go ahead and choose the offload mode and then define a specialization, call it gaming time for example, which will force off your offload mode and enable sync instead. Now you will get two boot entries on every rebuild instead of one, allowing you to choose your desired mode every time you start your computer. And now, while we are still on the topic of hardware, I want to mention the official NixOS Hardware GitHub repo, which already includes ready-to-use hardware modules for many pre-built machines. These modules include optimized settings taking care of your kernel modules, firmware, cooling, battery, CPU, and even the aforementioned GPU bus IDs. It also has its own flake, so if you wish to import a module from it, you can simply add it to your inputs and grab any module from it, like in the example you see on the screen. There is also an example for importing these modules with fetchkit, which you can use if you still haven't switched to flakes. Enough talking about hardware, let's finally talk software. And to kick it off, probably the most important piece of software for any gamer is Steam. Now I know that nowadays it's not the only way to run games on Linux, and we will talk about some alternatives later in the video, but its massive influence on Linux gaming as a whole cannot be understated. And so to enable it on NixOS, we can just add this one line to our config. It will install Steam and set some other options you may need to run the games. While we are here, let's also enable a bunch of wrapper commands that will make our gaming experience smoother. Gamescope allows us to start a game in an optimized microcompositor that may help you if the game you are running has problems with upscaling or resolutions on your specific desktop environment or window manager. 
Mango HUD is a simple overlay program for monitoring FPS, temperature, CPU and GPU load and more. And finally, last but not least, Game Mode. A daemon that will greatly improve your game's performance by requesting a set of optimizations to be temporarily applied to the OS and the game process. To access those capabilities, Game Mode and Game Scope require specific system permissions, so adding them to the system packages alone will not suffice. Hence, the Enable options. Now you can simply prepend any of these programs to the executables in any game's general options. Next up, let's talk about installing the glorious Agral Proton fork, Proton GE. It offers some additional patches not included in regular Proton and may greatly improve performance in some games. We will actually use an imperative way of installing it today, but that is because Steam will update some of its components every time you start it anyway. To install Proton GE, we can use the convenient Proton app command, which does require us to specify the installation path. There are many ways to do it, so here are some of them. We can add an environment variable to our Nixos configuration and run the Proton app command. We can include it in our home manager configuration and run the Proton app command. Or even simply pass the correct path with a dash D flag. Afterwards, you can simply select the newly installed Proton version in the compatibility menu of any Steam game. And now, let's also talk about the alternative ways to run games on NixOS. And first up, we have the popular Lutris Launcher. It allows you to run games from all sorts of sources, can help with managing Wine and Proton versions, and generally serves as a all-in-one Linux game launcher. It does not require any extra permissions, so installing it on NixOS is simply a matter of adding it to your system packages. Another useful game launcher you can try on NixOS is called Heroic. It allows you to seamlessly run all of your Epic and GOG games, and features a wide range of easy-to-use Wine and Proton settings. And finally, if the games that you want to run cannot be installed with the previous solutions, your best bet will probably be Bottles. Bottles is an incredible wine prefix manager that comes with some sensible presets and the most intuitive interface I've ever seen in an application like this. You can use it to run regular Windows EXE files, making it a perfect solution for games not published on major platforms. And before I finish this video, I also wanted to mention ProtonDB, which is an official Steam Linux compatibility database that you can use before buying any games to know whether or not they will actually work on Linux. Because like I've said in the beginning, NixOS is just another Linux distro when it comes to gaming, so any issues and fixes you see there will most probably also work for you. And now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Hoskins, Aiding Bad Ponder, Not A Nut, Uni, Xavier, Albert C., P3N, Tibalt Mall, Shen, Z, Workflow, Zach Beer, This is Liam, Bruno, Glitched Code, Shigenori Suzuki, Akiva, Torvald, Mo Creek, Stefan Flea, Hayzek, and of course the people who donated previously. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.